A 34-year-old man from Colorado was gored by a bull bison after getting too close to the animal at Yellowstone National Park on Monday, marking the second incident of its kind this year. According to a Tuesday news release from Yellowstone National Park, the bison charged the man and his family while the group was walking on a boardwalk near a giant geyser at Old Faithful. The family did not leave the area, and the bison then proceeded to charge and gore the man. The 34-year-old, who is from Colorado Springs, Colorado, sustained an arm injury and was taken to the Eastern Idaho Regional Medical Center by ambulance, the release said. Flooding in Yellowstone, home swept away as Yellowstone National Park is hit by major floods and mudslides the incident remains under investigation and the park offered no further details as of Tuesday. The man was not identified by name. This is the second reported incident in 2022 of a visitor getting too close to the animal and the bison responding to the perceived threat by goring the individual, Yellowstone National Park wrote in its news release. Park safety regulations instruct visitors to never approach wildlife. People should stay more than 25 yards away from large animals like bison, and at least 100 yards away from bears and wolves. On May 30th, a 25-year-old woman from Ohio was gored by a bison at Yellowstone after approaching the animal within 10 feet. The woman was tossed 10 feet in the air and suffered a puncture wound, as well as other injuries. In May, woman gored and tossed 10 feet in the air by bison in Yellowstone Park Wildlife in Yellowstone National Park are wild and can be dangerous when approached. When an animal is near a campsite, trail boardwalk, parking lot, or in a developed area, give it space, Yellowstone National Park warned, both after the May incident and in Tuesday's release. On Tuesday, Yellowstone National Park also noted that, bison are unpredictable and can run three times faster than humans. USA Today has contacted park officials for further comments. After devastating floods hit Yellowstone National Park earlier this month, the park closed June 13. On June 23, park managers raised the gates at three of Yellowstone's five entrances in a partial reopening. What's everyone talking about? Sign up for our trending newsletter to get the latest news of the day contributing, Asha Gilbert, USA Today, The Associated Press.